Okay, everyone. This is me, Satya here, and I'm taking your uh, third week of October reading, starting from the 15th through the 21st of October 2019. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. So let's see what's coming up for Aquarians for this week time, uh, which has already started. Um, but before I get into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. And um, uh, I would like to make two announcements here. One, uh, I just uh, uploaded uh, maybe three, four days back a video regarding the special message reading for all signs, which was a pick a card basically. Um, do check out the message that it has for all signs out there um, about this week time. The energies of this week are so powerful. Do check out that video, at least the first few minutes of that video, so you would know uh, how to use the power of this week to manifest what you desire during this week time. The other thing is I'm now offering um, personalized weekly readings which are uh, you know done in two formats one is love reading for the for, uh, for the for the week time uh, which is going to be day to day space like uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday and all those things and the other is for love and career so if you're interested to get your personalized reading done for a whole for a whole week then reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box so yeah let's begin the reading let's see what's coming up for aquarius for this week time <clears throat> do follow me on Instagram if you have not followed me yet because I do upload daily readings there. So let's see what's the color guidance for the sign of Aquarius for this week time. Purple. Developmental clarity. 39. 39 could be important for you as a number. Maybe 3 and 9 or 39 or maybe 12. I feel like you know you are going to be very thoughtful during this week time. You are going to think a lot about everything that you uh, do, everything that you're gonna take step about, uh, everything that you're gonna decide. You are going to think a lot before you take that particular step. And even if you don't, then do because this week you have to be having that mental clarity about anything and everything that you are doing in your life, be that in your love life, be that in your home life, be that in your uh, work life as well. Um, you should know what are you doing. And you should know the pros and cons of that particular thing that you are doing in your life. So just know everything clearly. If you are meeting someone new, I would suggest you to be very sure that this person is the right one for you and ask them their intention, their motives behind getting into a relationship with you. Um, you know, just just know if, if they matches um, your intention or not. If their intention matches your intention or not. If they are willing to be in a committed relationship or not. Because... You know, the, there needs to be that clarity with whatever you're doing in your life during this week time. So let's see what the tarot has to say for you. You can also wear this shade of purple. It's basically two, three shades of purple, light pinkish purple, dark purple, and the, uh, you know, um, the light purple as well. So you can also meditate on this color as well. If you have, uh, you know, that, uh, what's this stone? Oh, I can't think of the name. Mm -hmm. What's that stone? I can't think of. I need to have mental clarity too. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I really feel like knowing, you know, I, I can't recall the name of that stone. Um, let me see. Amethyst. Yeah. <laughs> amethyst. You can also wear the amethyst if you want, because that is also going to help you stay uh, mentally alert as well. So you know what are you doing? Like, you know, you should know, um, be aware of your surroundings as well during this week time. For some of you, I feel like you are going to have some sort of um, um, some sort of a little mishap as well, which is going to make you go for having that mental clarity of whatever you are doing and uh, what is going on in the uh, in the uh, surrounding. 
I believe. But before that happens, I would suggest you to stay alert mentally during this week time. So you could avoid some, you know, mishap, be that a small one or not. Like, you know, just, just, just try to avoid that energy by being alert mentally. Four of Cups, the Chariot, and let's see one more card. Ten of Pentacles, yay, happy time. Five of Wands, taking stress. <laughs> um... Let's see, um, more cards underneath that. Five of Wands, underneath that, Six of Swords, underneath that, Seven of Swords, underneath that, Ten of Wands, underneath that, Nine of Swords, underneath that, The Lovers, underneath that, The Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords. Um, I feel like, you know, something abruptly going to happen for you in your life. It, it is definitely going to be something positive. I'm not picking up any negative energy around that. Something is going to come your way very abruptly. You were not expecting it to happen. And I feel like, you know, there is going to be some sort of opportunity coming your way. It can be in any area of your life. It can be a new money-making opportunity. It can be a new love offer. It can be a new opportunity to make new friends as well. But whatever opportunity that you are going to be having during this week time, like I said, you have to be very clear of the intention of the person or the people involved in the whole situation. Because I feel like, you know, um, things might happen very quickly that you would lose the, you know, you might miss out some important information that you should know about. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, even if you get a job and maybe if you're getting it through some friends or family, you might miss out the details about it, which is going to make you feel stuck later on. So just to avoid that to happen, just know that you are checking out the details about whatever you are doing in your life, whatever opportunity you are trying to avail during this time, you really have to be very clear about it. Um, especially when it comes to your love life, because it's not, it's, uh, it's something very serious, something very important. And if you um be sure that whatever opportunity that you are getting you don't have to accept this opportunity for the sake of accepting one opportunity that is coming your way you have to be very clear that this is what you want you have to be very clear that the opportunity that you are getting right now is the best one for you um i feel like you know something is going to happen so quickly like maybe for those of you who are single and looking for romance looking for love looking for you know, a person to be in a relationship with. I feel like, um, you know, somebody's coming from uh, from a distance towards you and the time frame that you have to know this person is going to be very little. And that is going to uh, make it very hard for you to have or develop that mental clarity about this proposal, that new person. And you might have to make a choice. You might have to make a decision around this relationship in that you know given time span which is definitely going to be very tough for you to you know um uh, to make a decision about them in that given time span which is like you know um I, obviously it is you know even if i take clarify how would it be for you it is going to be different for different people because i'm reading this you know energy for you know i'm reading these cards here for different people so it's not going to be good for everyone it's not going to be bad for everyone so just just be just be sure whatever you are making a choice about during this week time you should know each and every detail about this person for some of you you might be you know since this person is coming from a distance so maybe you don't know where what what they do there what you know maybe if they are married over there or not so there are certain things that you might not know about this person if you are about to get married to this person in this you know short period of time be sure you know every detail about this person get um uh, you know um get some sort of, you know, uh, investigation done before you take that decision because otherwise you might, you know, you might feel um, that you got stuck or you would feel like, you know, I wish I had, you know, investigated about them before I said yes to this proposal. And same goes for the, for the jobs as well. You know, if you are signing a contract, just know each and every detail about that particular contract that you are going to sign. Um, but I feel like, you know, something is going to happen very abruptly for you. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be something around the lines which you have been, um, you know, waiting on for so patient, you know, um, patiently, but 
you know, you are, fe- you might feel like giving up on it now because you have been waiting for it. You have been waiting for it for quite some time already. And when this opportunity comes your way, you are just, you know, going crazy to accept this opportunity or to, you know, avail this opportunity. Where, where, where uh, lies the chance of you missing out something important in the whole situation? So, um, you know, take your time. Don't rush into things with this, you know, this opportunity, whatever it is that is coming your way. But I feel like, you know, for most of you, you know, having this opportunity means a lot. But there, there is something about this opportunity, which is, you know, with Seven of Souls, with that, you know, thing. You are definitely expecting that, you know, with this opportunity coming your way, your life is going to be like, a, you know, um, your life will finally fall into, you know, into the space where everything feels calm and, you know, everything is good. Um, your life seems perfect and stuff like that. But soon after having that, there is, you know, stress coming up. So just to be sure of what you are expecting this opportunity to be, I would definitely suggest you to investigate before you say yes to any of the opportunities that are coming your way, which are definitely going to be coming from, a from a distance. And I feel like with this eye here, if you could see the eye there, um, like you said, maybe their, their, their motives, their uh, intentions could be pure. And they might have been seeing you for quite some time. They might have been thinking about you for quite some time. And now they're approaching you with a, with a proposal or something. Whatever it is, it's, it's always good to have your, your homework done about that particular person. Because I feel like, you know, this person might have taken their time to decide about you. Maybe you don't know that, but they know that. Um, and because you don't know that they took their time to decide about you, you are thinking like maybe this person is like, you know, they suddenly rushed in and they're, you know, wanting to be my life partner or something. So it's confusing you as well. So it's like, you know, just, just, just be sure, just be clear about what it is that this person has to offer. Uh, but I feel like, you know, for most of you, the chances are that you are going to be happy having this opportunity coming your way. But for, uh, but like I said, you know, since it's a general reading, uh, that, outcome cannot be that uh, cannot be uh, so for most of you as well so um just to be sure just know that you have uh, all the clarity that you needs to have around this situation that comes up for you during this week time uh, so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're looking to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you people take care Bye bye